alive. Is this actually... And it's just you. Test, 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 test. Hi. My name's Jaxie. I'm experiencing technical difficulties. It's this coaxial line that's driving me up the wall. I've literally got dental floss <laughs> wrapped around, around the power. That, there's nothing wrong with that, right? No problem with that whatsoever. Sorry about that. Well, you missed it. Just told you all the secrets to spawning and how to catch all the diamonds, but uh, we'll have to pick that up another week. Good morning, my friends, and welcome to this week's Tackle Box. My name is Jack C. Beard. Happy Valentine's Day, or as some may say, Single Awareness Day, or some may say you've been married too long and don't celebrate day. Nonetheless, it's pretty dang cool. Great to have you all here. I want to give a big shout out to Vivi having a little fun with some postcards with the, uh, with the Valentine's Day cards if you hadn't seen them. They're in the Discord. They're across our socials. It tickles my dad humor button. I, I kind of like that. So <laughs> what's going on, everybody? What's happening? It's about the next reserve, too. What? Oh, wait. I, is there another one coming to the angler? Have we divulged that? I can neither confirm nor deny. Oh, I had a bit of a mood today. You're going to have to bear with me. We're going to have a little bit of fun. And uh, Sam's been standing here like a wild man trying to get his 15 minutes of fame. <laughs> Sorry, Sam. I've seen you beating on your chest for the last 15 minutes. Uh, if you guys want to come and join us, you can absolutely find us. We're currently here on Spain. You just need to land the right server. Uh, and we're going to head down. There's a couple great spots, really. If you're searching for the largemouth bass, you're heading down here. Who's already there? Ignition is lit and he's ready to go. So we're gonna head down that way and get something going, drop a line of the water and see how we do. What's going on, chat? Good to see everybody. Welcome to this week's stream. It's always a pleasure. Uh, I was looking forward to it, man. I was looking forward to it. a few things to talk about, a few things to go over. But first and foremost, we race eh, don't we have a? Isn't there a? Is there not a fast travel at that boat launch? For the love of Pete, I feel like I've just been set up. Really? Do we not have them? Really? So there's one down here, and I just haven't made it yet. Well, here. Bad boy charm, you know. No. Thought there was one there. Love catching bass with the popper. I brought a popper with me. I haven't done a lot with the poppers. I, I really, I, I just haven't had much need. But uh, yeah, I've got a popper. It's my main setup right now. We're going to rock it. I'm using a size five. It's going to get you silver, gold, diamond, better. Actually, it's five, five for bronze. If you're looking for that kind of info in the Discord, there's a resource hub and it is very much kept up to date. Big shout out to our community. Um, big shout out to, to certain individuals who spend a lot of time on those sheets uh, to help everybody out. Let's go ahead and jump into this Jeep that I can drive like a freaking champ now. Let me just, uh, let me just go ahead and, uh, oh, oh, when did this land? Well, if you missed it, we had an update just recently uh, that brought some real big treats to the game. A lot of us are really excited. It's really quality of life stuff. Um, my favorite addition is this right here. I, you know, I just, man, am I going to gush a little? I'm going to gush a little. Uh, I saw on the roadmap that this was a thing. Okay? I saw that the devs were planning to do a third-person camera. But they seemed to see, and it wasn't a loud voice, it wasn't a ton, but they saw that some folks are being stalked. Some folks are having issues um, with things like motion sickness. They pushed this up. They made this happen. Uh, I, I tried to keep quiet about it. I didn't want them to know that I was experiencing it because I didn't want them to feel bad. I see what they go through and I see what they hear and so on and so forth. And it's, you know, they're all human beings. But uh, to do something like that, yeah, I was, I was pretty impressed. I must admit, I was pretty impressed because it, it just shows they care, you know? And, uh, yeah. So, those devs, you know who you are. You're all my valentine. I don't know how to do those things. Okay. Wow. Did I miss? It was supposed to be a heart. My beard got in the way. I don't even know what's happening. Get in. 
Okay. I love this. I love these third uh, third person views. What the heck happened there? Okay, we're having funsies at the moment. Yeah, we are having funsies. That's not good. Who is this? It's a real good way to get yourself the uh, ungold name, whoever this is. <laughs> what just happened? What is happening right now? Huh. That's interesting. That's, uh... Huh. Well... With the patch, our boat will now stay where we left it. Okay, I'm going to see. I don't know what's quite going on here. I'm going to try and get away before this craziness continues. That was wild. Holy. So I, I had an experience. So... Let me, it's one of the things I wanted to talk about, actually. Um, with our last update, you know, this is the risk of always doing an update. Like, literally every gaming company, when an update's coming out, they're holding their breath, you know? Um, no matter how much testing you do, there's certain things you can't predict when it hits the live service. And uh, we did see some difficulties with this one, and, and you, you've seen our team went crackingly hard on it uh and got a patch out now obviously we haven't got everything quite where we want it there wasn't any changes i'm told in the patch to multiplayer uh but the or, or in the last patch that we got they didn't make any adjustments because they believe they can make that adjustment on the back end so we'll see where it goes and where we end up and kind of what's happening uh bear with us as as we work through some of this um i haven't seen that happen though Mind you, I haven't seen a video of that. Which leads me to the next point. Uh, this community is amazing. And uh, submitting tickets really help. And of course, attaching any video stuff. Like that. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, thank you, Lacey. We need help. We're, we're getting it. They are a bit unstable. I, that I knew. I hadn't experienced that yet, though. I was having the disconnects. The random reconnects. Uh, I, I, you know, it's... You know, this is... This is like a dev's worst nightmare <laughs> you know when you put a patch out and things happen so uh we're, we're working on it bear with us we'll get through it there's a, a handful of things that are there one of them is that right there which is why maybe if that's not turned off i'll i might be fishing solo sef because i can't handle the constant boater noise boater 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 it's that's one of the issues uh, it just kind of keeps going Okay, Kip, what's up, brother? Well, you know what? Yes, I am going to touch base on that um, because I've actually been repeating what I was told, but, uh, I, I, you know, as we've dug and we've dug and we've spoken more directly to the devs. In fact, I was just told, may not be the case, so we're investigating what is happening. Um, I'm going to move away from you, Seth. I'll let you fish over there. We'll keep a distance because I really don't want to be listening to that. <laughs> troubling times, my friends. What better way to deal with those troubling times than to get something in the water and get after it? One of the new changes I've noticed, I've had uh, a number of people chit chatting about it, uh, and that is, in fact, the casting changes. Some are having a hard time getting used to it. I would remind you, maybe if it's not your cup of tea, first let our devs know through feedback in the Discord. We have the feedback sections, and there's already some threads started. Check them out before you just make your own. Uh, and, of course, upvote. Show your support through what people are saying. Uh, but second, there is the accessibility cast, so you don't have to manually cast. That is something that was added. I know a large number of you use it, but it is there as an option. And if you're maybe not entirely happy with where it's at, I would move to, to that option right now. So, Flipsy, what's up, brother? Good to see you, my man. Uh, but, so... With the changes, now there were some changes that didn't make the patch notes and I didn't cover it as a result uh, on our last stream. One of the changes was, in fact, the nighttime being more 
accurate uh, to where it is geographically. Now, what does that mean? Well, that means that technically, I guess the game is playing off of summertime in Norway. Believe me, we don't want it to play off of winter time. I'm just saying, because uh, you'd have a couple hours of 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 nighttime in the summer. And, uh, you'd have a couple hours of sun <laughs> in the winter. Uh, but initially, I was informed that uh, the fish are... Uh, no changes were made to them, but there may be. So we're investigating that, and I'll actually update on this as I find out more in the Discord uh, as we uh, we dig and we poke our designers and get the sources of truth. Nothing to see here, all is well. Beauty on PC can't play game console with friends, no MP. Yeah, hey, Chico, what's up? Yeah, there's, there's some issues. I mean, you can definitely get in. Um, I don't know what's holding... I, the servers are having a little bit of a tweak fest. Yeah. So just uh, do your best. Be patient. We'll get through it. We absolutely will. Cassie's much better since the patch. I'd love to hear that. I really want to. Cassie's better since patch. It's nice to hear both sides of the coin because, you know, honestly, guys, like when we sit here in the community, ah, you know what? This is, I'm going to my float because I don't have to do much while I talk. <laughs> I've got a minnow on here right now. Let me just double check. I got minnows on. Oh, I only got 10 of them. So that's interesting. Let's drop that in. Then we, we can chit chat. <laughs> Multitasking is not my thing first thing in the morning. <laughs> well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go that far. BSC, there's some server issues that we're trying to work through. And uh, if you're involved in the community, you'll see we're absolutely trying our, our best right now to get this sorted. We had one patch out. Uh, that hasn't covered everything and uh, the team is is looking at and investigating exactly what's happening what is your opinion what separates this game from fishing planet makes it better or worse i mean that's a tough one fishing planet's a great game uh so is russian fishing four it's not everyone's cup of tea i think some people have different preferences i'm one of those guys that kind of likes them all i've i've got a, a fair i've got more time in fishing planet than any other of the fishing games although the angler i've got way more time in the angler but a lot of that's testing and checking stuff out and acquainting before i'm live on stream but blah, blah 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 um you know obviously at its core the the games are very similar in the sense that they they are fishing related i mean that's the tie together but i think that's where a lot of the similarities end just in the two completely different approaches from our devs let's go uh, and how they want to go about making it happen and putting their own sort of flair out. We're an open world game. So, of course, our, our, our main focus is the fishing experience and really a main focus on the fight, which you've probably experienced if you're playing. Um, but, you know, whereas, like, I look at Russian Fishing 4 and how, you know, they, they've got crafting lures and stuff like that, but... Um, you know, there's strengths and weaknesses to each game. I'm certainly not going to review each game's strengths and weaknesses here because um, I, I wouldn't want to insult. In fact, we're, we're quite happy to share the space uh, with some successful games and, and, and something we actually, you know, we're, we're fully behind, right? We want to see more awareness brought to these kind of niche genres, you know, because we're big fishing fans. I'm a big hunting fan. Both of our games are not exactly the, you know, don't exactly have the, the the awareness of something like Call of Duty. <laughs> so I think it's great that they're still supporting their games. They're still making improvements. Uh, but, you know, it's really up to yourself to see the, the differences. Um, I, I recommend it. I do. Anyways, there we go. Get a silver in right off the bat. Use the red worm for bass better in the minnow. I, I've had a lot of luck with the minnow. I do go between the red worm and minnow, or the two, if I'm if I'm on my float. Um, I, I am actually on a size five hook on it right now. Five, just because you know, silver is an up, right? It's kind of nice. Open world is big. I, totally official, Jin. I mean, yeah, it, it was a really daring approach from our devs. I mean, an open world fishing game. Doesn't that mean that you're just there to fish, but you have to travel? Well, that was the challenge, and, and they've they've really, I think, I'm biased. If you were here on my personal channel, I'd have my EW hat off, um, but I'm pretty much going to say the same thing. Uh, I I love open world games, and I think they did a good job at filling it in uh, and and creating, you know, those events and how that really ties in. Oh, with the fishing? Come on, what do we got there, buddy? Is that gold? No, that's a silver. 
Um, the open world is probably the most the storytelling that goes with it. There's a lot of backstory. How's our boys doing here? I haven't seen it. We've got a couple bronzes. Oh, a gold. Nice, Wilson. Starting off with the gold. Echo made it in. Nice, nice. Uh, yo, what up, Z? How you doing, brother? Cool Valentine skins on the hunter. I know they are really cool, aren't they? I mean, like, there are some gems in there that are kind of mind blowing. Do I need to complete tutorials before I start loading with other players? You do. J Not all of the tutorials. The initial tutorial uh, that will start you with the pond will take you to uh, walk you down to the outpost, go through two jetties. And when you're introduced to the board, which I think is right after you talk uh, to Clay, the, the warden, when you're introduced to the board, you'll actually have, um, you'll, you'll see Taylor Tackles Academy. But you'll get a notification when you've been put in with, with all the multiplayer. At that point, you'll see everybody, they'll see you. And then you can go on your journeys with your, with your you know, your best mates and um, level up with them and such if that's what you want to do. However, if you're just starting, I highly recommend going through uh, that the, all those tutorials in the beginning. You know, you may be an avid fisherman, you know what it all is. You, sure, you'll get to see how we've approached in the game, so you, you understand the buttons, that sort of thing. But it'll take you around the map. For instance, if you're on Golden Ridge Reserve, following the Golden Tour will unlock the the majority of the map. You'll find where there's a lot of a lot of good spots where in fast travel points you get back to. Uh, and you get a lot of XP in that process. So it's actually a good way to go. But you can always come back to that, right? So if you want to get out there and get in quickly to play with your buddies, you know, when they all go to bed, because that happens to me a lot. All my buddies are like, I'm, I'm in the Pacific time zone and I don't, know, I don't have any gaming buddies in the Pacific time zone. I need to meet more people. If only I knew how. I think you can go and you can hit it yourself. All right. Well, we're going to be pulling these bad boys in. I love how often you can land these. They are just great, especially the minnows, man. They just keep nailing it. And, and they're here. I I find the minnows. I don't really get much else in the line. Now that I've said that, we'll see. Yes, sir. West Coast. Good old Vancouver, my man. Just outside, actually. Yo, what up, Dwayne Warehound? How you doing? What up, Spidey? West Coast, but I'm not going to say the yeah. Oh, man, you caught me off guard. You're distracting me. <laughs> All right. I'm a little uh, OP on my setup here. Um, I'm using a big rod. I'm using braided line. Like, I, uh, you know, when I'm normally out fishing, I don't do that. Uh, it depends what I'm doing. So here's the first setup. Uh, we've got the Capitan. Yeah, that's right. Low key. The next rushy rod. <laughs> I, I actually, just aesthetically, this is one of my favorite. But, man, if you guys haven't met Rushy here on, on, on one of our streams yet, uh, or seen any of his interviews as the game was coming up and all the work that he's put into it, the, the man's been a hero to us. Um, him and Gaz have absolutely led the charge with all of our incredible devs. And I love this little... Hey, I, I love an homage and... Uh, and homage. I don't. I love this. Uh, dedicated to our uh, our our rushy game. Anyhow, and of course, I got the Rudo Flunk, aka the Rushy Reel, uh, because it's a set. Okay, I knew I've mastered it already, but I haven't this. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and I'm rocking the 15 kilogram. Uh, but I do have a size five popper for that one. Now over to here. But wait. <laughs> Oh, you have two. <laughs> this one needs the mastery, uh, but I, I, using my other reel, I want to, I want to knock this one out and get the mastery up on it. And of course, the braided again, uh, and and this is like my favorite bobber. And again, the five. Uh, but I do have. I probably should have brought more hino, hinos, hinos. Probably should have brought more minnows. Uh, but I do have my red worms and stuff with me. We'll swap over once we run out. Oh, who's over there? Who who found us? Dre talk, my man. Hey, you know what? You guys, you're awesome. Although it kind of feels like COVID again and we're all social distancing. What happened to Seth? We lost their wild Seth. Oh, well, we'll get back to it. He'll find us again. What up, Uncle D? Good to see you, brother. Welcome, a bet. What's that? What you agree with what statement? Don't let the negative comments of the game get deep down. You guys got an amazing game team here. You know, the overall sentiment is good. 
it, it is. Um, I I think that you know, it, it was it was I like I don't mind talking about this stuff, and I I I, I would guarantee if you met one of our devs and and chit chat them, they talk about it quite openly too. You know, we don't uh, we don't really hide things here at Expansive Worlds. We like our folks to know our every step of our journey. You know, we had a bit of a rough launch and, and when it was on PC, and that that really hurt us on Steam. By the way, you know, you won't see them do that often. You'll see little notes here and there, but if you are enjoying the game. Leave a review. It helps us immensely. Immensely. Um, plus, we get to see your opinion. So, follow everything. But anyhow, um, and there's been so much time and love put into it. And and the devs, they they do. They take this all. I mean, we tell them to take it with a grain of salt, but they're humans, right? And it's what they're working on. It's their love project. It's kind of fitting for Valentine's Day. <laughs> um, so, comments like that, you know, it's easy for us to, to focus on the negative because we're trying... To always get better and you sometimes lose fact that the you know vast majority are enjoying it loving it and uh, yeah if you want to see you know the community and how we do they all get i would highly recommend if you're not already join our discord server and uh, you know we, we uh we get so much feedback in there and we read through everything there's actually a section set up specifically for your feedback your game suggestions because we are community driven we're rolling in the night time man alive Chilly Sunday morning here on Coastal BC. Hope it gets nice. Oh, Chip, brother, I feel you, my man. I often forget that you're like my neighbor, dude. Sunshine Coast, if I remember right. And I know we've had this conversation back in the day. I used to have a cabin, cottage on uh, Sacramento Lake. Very near and dear to us. Got all new dubs in Norway. I love the little fish. Ashley, I love to hear that. There's some challenges. In fact, um, Surprising pointed it out to me. We were going to run one of them in the King of the Catch this week. But uh, it's a tie fest. With the size of them, they seem to be notching out at a certain score. We have a three-way split, I believe, on our records right now. So we're going we're gonna to pass on them this week. We'll, uh, we'll probably go for one of the more fateful, uh, really enjoyed this week, watching everybody battle it out kind of weeks. So we'll see what, what, what we do there. But uh, And uh, yeah. I'm just going to point it out to the team, because I don't know that that was by design. They are smaller fish, but there should be a difference in all the scoring and stuff. No, it's all about balance. It takes us time to get everything right. There doesn't seem to be any point, there doesn't seem to be any point in the Masters, apart from XP, which is mainly what it's designed for right now. Progression on your gear. You know, there's a lot of things placed in the game, um, like the Mastery, like Water Temps and such, that uh, will be fleshed out more in the future. Uh, but needs to be in at the base layer of the game. And, you know, there's lots of plans. If you have been around with us in Expansive Worlds for a while, say with our, our other IPs, you've seen how we continue to support games. We continue to add to games. Uh, and, you know, we've learned a lot in the past. And trying to get ahead of things uh, and getting stuff into game, it's a big benefit. So, very good possibility. I'm not saying there's going to be a change to it, but I know there was a big conversation about this uh, amongst the team, amongst the community when it when it first came out. We're not going to get a lot of hits here. Um, in the night, right? Here's our, whoops, whoops, whoops. Oh my god, I was just on it. There it is. They don't have a preference. Just wanted to check if they had a day-night preference. We do with lighter tackle for the new fish as possible. We got good scores as we can't tackle down. I feel that. I feel that. I feel that. Because I'm very much that guy. Normally, I'm dropping my gear right down. <laughs> what the f beard? And and and. But as I take the lighter gear, it it. Um, I've derailed myself. I like to go for the better scores. I like the fights. And that just isn't always the case uh, with the new setup, but yeah, yeah. Uh, love Hershey World Robots. If you remember our chat, I love Hirschfeld over Robots. Uh, if you haven't checked out Generation Zero, one of our sister games, and they had some major updates as of late that really changed things. Uh, that game's going off. It's just hit this. It's hit its stride. Um, very cool. Very cool. Hirschfelden, which is a reserve in the Hunter. One of the, the base reserves. Uh, Hirschfelder was robot with robots. That's how I like to. Oh my goodness, man. I think that's it. Yeah. 
I did a trailer for that way back when. That was my, my big joke. I love it. Absolutely love it. Oh, goodness. I'm uh, I'm keeping an eye. I've got one eye over here because uh, we're looking for some info. Um, just to clarify some things. I, I'm kind of wearing this one on my sleeve, you know. When, uh, when a hot topic comes up. When a hot topic comes up. And whether that's from maybe changes, a, a patch was brought in. Or, or just, you know, realization information. Whatever the case may be. I and many of our team members, many of our community team members, like to um, talk directly to our devs and find out and get right to the skinny of things uh, before we comment on anything. Because I, I'll be honest, my I'm if you knew me IRL, you know I'm a guy. My word is my bond, and I, I take it quite seriously. So if I'm gonna say something, I'm I'm gonna know something, and I'm gonna be fully behind it. Ha <laughs> ha! Nobody said nothing. You guys are too forgiven about my green screen. I'm a little more on it. Anyhow, so I'm, I'm, we've requested some info and I'm like, I'm literally staring at it every, well, glancing every chance I can. Hey, congratulations, Zook. Nice, nice. Culligan, man, thank you. And I will pass that along. We possibly see some ice fishing, Raven. That, that would be great. Oh, oh, does anyone ever get an itchy back? Was that weird to do on stream? I'm sorry, my back is itchy. It, um, I, I would love to see ice fishing. I would love to see deep sea fishing. And all of these things are entirely possible down the line. I think that what you would expect to see before then is there's things I, I think that are fundamental in a game that we need to get in. And I think our team will probably focus on some of those. Uh, you know, we're forever changing our roadmap. It's why we don't like to talk about roadmaps because we listen to the community. Where are you going with this beard? Well, actually... Something like ice fishing, it would be a major commitment. And I know from experience that our team would really want to know that this is overwhelmingly something that the community would want. And we can tell that by looking at Discord and all the upvotes. Yeah, is that subtle enough? I rely on you guys because I'm right there with you. So much of what you guys say, um, we're echoing amongst our team. We want these things. Uh, it's it's hard to decipher the landscape of gamers. I know this because I'm a gamer first. We um we get onto something, but then a week later we're onto this. <laughs> Woo, piece <of> candy. <laughs> oh, a week later. Woo, piece of candy. You know what I'm saying? We all do this. Um, so it's important, man. Get these things down in Discord. Get that community behind you, and they will. Especially your angler community. You guys are very unique. I've got to be honest. It is such a pleasure hanging out in that Discord. Hanging out anywhere within that community. Um, yeah. That's yeah, pretty good. Check it out. Check it out. Come join us. Do you think toggle Twitch jigging will happen? Do you think a toggle? I mean, we have the, the, the quick buttons. Oh, do you mean a button to just hit toggle and, and, and then it just starts doing it? As an accessibility option would be a nice quality of life. I think it would definitely benefit some players. Yeah, I can see that happening. Um, haven't seen a lot of requests for that, but then we're getting down to a more granular level of what you guys want in, in quality of life updates. What's going to make it easier, ultimately more enjoyable? That's what it comes down to. It's all about that experience. Speaking of experience, I swear if you don't come and bite my hook. We've got a handful of Valentine's Day cards here. I will chuck into the water. Yeah. Don't do that, please. It's not good for the fishes. Ice fish would be a very cool game. I think so, too. Coastal Florida would be a dream. Oh. Culligan, man, that's my big ask. I would like a deep sea fishing map off of Florida. Uh, I want I want marlin. I want you swordfish there. Like, I have a very similar... Uh, like, any... Just give me some big strap me in the chair kind of fish. Uh, it's it's just mm, yeah, I very much want that. Plus, if we get into deep sea, if we if we get into a, a salt water, even just call it salt water, um, and getting down the chuck, getting things like halibut springs. Let's go. Oh God, you made me wait. You better be good. Do you look? I always think these look bigger because I I'm giving them to be a goal. Willpower is no good. Yes to the ice fishing. I love it. Right there with you. So. 
You should take the leg off and hit you when that happens to be. Oh, well, I mean, some of us aren't as fortunate to be able to, to reach those itches. <laughs> I can't help it, man. I, I can't. Oh, drives me wild, dude. You know. I'd love to see I know. So would I, Uncle D. So would I. Toggle for start stop would really help those of us with carpal issues. That's something I have fought as well. I haven't had that issue since I moved. To, oh, I can't show you. Is it going to stretch too far? Can you see that? Can you see that? Yeah. A little too close. Going all pixelated. And it's filthy. Here's an Astromo. Helps me a ton with my left hand. Massively. That's the hand where I would get it. My right. Um, since I moved to the Razer. The, the Razer. The Razer Naga. I had Razer Naga Pro Trinity. Um, I haven't had any issues in my right hand. I'm not saying it's the mouse, but if that helps you. Florida would be a great reserve. It's blowing up a Discord. I don't keep blowing it up. I've always wanted a Florida map. I would like a Lake o Okeechobee type map. I know I said that wrong. Mangroves into Coast and Andre Miss too. Yes, absolutely. Even with the small issues the game has, I will continue to support anything EW does in the of this and the hunter are great and I cannot wait to see what comes in the future. Kip, much respect, brother. I you know, I get it. I know how hard it could be when there's ever a bug in any game. And that's the unfortunate gaming landscape these days. And I saw a conversation about this. Uh in our Angular Discord. So many things I wanted to say. But I, I just didn't want to start anything. Wow, that was quick. You sat there waiting for me. Right? Did I have your buddy in my arms a minute ago? Is that what happened? You want a hug? Valentine's Day hug incoming. Here we go. Okay. Okay. No, no, no. It's fine. I got you. All right. Um, Some made a comment how it'd be easy to test with today's technology. Oh, God, no. With this is the thing, you know, back in the day, when there were no bugs. Games also took twice as long to be worked on. They had to be flawless to be shipped. Or nobody would buy that product because you had no way to fix it. But then with the introduction of internet and uh, online games, stream games, digital downloads, uh, it changed a lot of the landscape and now things can be updated. Uh, but it's not that developers got lazy. Technology moves screamingly fast and the demand for the latest graphics, the demand for the latest systems and features you see in other games on other engines and it, it I, I see it happening in the time that i've been in the industry remember i was a creator playing the games sitting there shaking my fist why is this wrong why is this wrong now i'm on the other side of the glass and i get it i get it it's funny when i encounter a bug in a game now i'm like i look at it differently i'm like I wonder what they need to identify this. How can we recreate this? And I'm like, I don't work for that company, but I'm playing a game. And so I try to submit tickets and everything just because I'm on the other side of the fence now and I understand it. Technology moves fast, man. As soon as you buy it, it's obsolete, right? It's wild. Hope one day we get an Amazon map with everything from Oscars and Piranhas, big boys like, oh man, snail. Me too, brother. That would be awesome. RBZZ, what up, brother? Good to see you, my man. Welcome. Like a Minnesota reserve in the land of 10,000 lakes. That would be amazing. It would. It would. What's there? There's a big fishing comp that happens out there in Minnesota um, that I manage to catch whenever I find it. I don't... I, yeah. We don't get... We have wild TV here in Canada, and we have, like, fishing shows that play us on the major networks. Gold, gold, gold. Oh, baby, I got my valentine. Let's go. Why does that feel so impactful? Right? That poofs like a big metal stab coming down. <clears throat> sorry. Sorry. Kind of getting caught up here. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I had upvotes for Toggle. Do yep. Keep it going, man. Keep it going. 105 upvotes. Have you seen how many people are in that Discord? Just in that Discord. Not even the concurrent players on a daily basis, but just in that Discord. 
It's wild. I got 105 upvotes. Come on, community. Get good. <laughs> oh, I'm having too much fun today. Ah! I want to see you guys blow that stuff up, man, to make it very apparent that this is what, this is what you're after. Oh, absolutely, Spidey. Hold on, brother. One second, my friend. We're just, uh, we're pulling them in. Pulling them in. We're bound to get something. We're bound to get something decent. If you're going for large mouth, large, large mouth bass. I almost said large bass mouth. You'd have understood it. Come on, admit it. You would have, you'd have been right there with me. Uh, this is really the spot. See, you're looking for diamonds. You're looking for big action. This is where you want to be. Come on down, my man. Come on down. Before any more U.S. maps, I'm not even going to continue reading that. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. We have this, and I'm gonna I'm gonna be blunt about this. I'm talking to Hunter. We have this small portion that's so loud that went on about no more North American maps. We've, and and then like you have this vast majority that are like, we want a Canada map, a Northern Canada map. We want this. All these North American spots. I hate reading stuff to start off before any more North America. Sorry, Moose. I'm a boy and all, dude, but yeah, I ain't reading the rest of that. <laughs> nope. I actually think we need more North American maps right now in the angler. Right? It's somewhere where most of the tournament fishing, most of the competitive fishing, um, it's massive fishing culture. Uh, and uh, yeah, absolutely do think we need it. So that's my thoughts. <laughs> When <laughs> they got warded, Automod got you. Um, I got no idea if they are. <laughs> oh, bass fish is pretty big in Japan. I hear there's really good fishing in Japan. What was that? What do you mean? Oh, I'm out of bait. All right, we'll move to my red worms. Got lots of them bad boys. Went through a lot of minnows. Oh, I wanted to drop that hook. Hold on, let's just bring that in. Exo, if you're watching, I appreciate you, brother. I appreciate you. He was, uh, he was, he was, uh, he was doing the good work for us there, trying to get, trying to get me that answer. See him moving all through all the channels, my man. He's a good dude, Exo. Cut every diamond of the game, Amy. Fantastic. Love to hear it. Love to hear it. So. I don't want to, maybe I shouldn't say that. I was going to ask some. I don't want to send you down a rabbit hole, but have you got any of the community records on those diamonds? I'm just curious. That is not a call to action. I I have seen, I have seen how, how <laughs> I've seen how Amy devotes herself to accomplishing things and I don't want to send her down a rabbit hole. Send the United States map with long nose guard, blue catfish would be nice. Plus it would be nice to have 32 player, 32 player lobbies. I think there's challenges there. I think I think there's challenges um, with uh, you know keeping a. See, we could absolutely load the lobby up with players, but then you would have to make concessions. You'd probably have to concede on some of the graphics, some things like moving clouds and stuff that don't seem like a big deal, but ha can have a big impact on multiple players. You know, waterfalls and stuff. I I believe the decision to go with originally was. Eight, then moved to 12. Um, I believe the decision is to keep it down to that number, though, was for a better experience, right? Because realistically, even eight's pretty good. However, I'm kind of with you. It would be nice to have that ability to get some bigger servers to do some tournaments or something, right? That would be cool. That would be How about bigger lobbies of more players? Oh, we just said that, Chronic. Right there. <laughs> yeah. It would be cool. It would be cool. But there there are, you know, there is a balance to be maintained there because the game's pretty damn gorgeous. Um, and uh, although a lot of it's carried on client side, the server does a lot of reporting and it would all it all affects everything. So um that's something maybe our devs could could consider and see. Maybe it's possible. The engine as well, you know, this Apex engine was our, our latest addition. Of the apex engine so drastically different from say what the hunter's on right 
not compatible. But it's got all the latest and greatest, so maybe, maybe possibilities are there. I could just hear Gaz and Rushy sitting there on the other side of the screen right now. Oh yeah, Jaxi, we could definitely crank it up, mate. <laughs> not sure you want us to, but we could. <laughs> What's the stance on dynamic weather so far? Stance is we absolutely want it. Uh, but as as we, we have talked about this on, on numerous occasions with the devs, and I've kind of echoed what they've said, uh, because when it comes straight from their mouths, you know, it's uh, I've offered my own thoughts on it too, but we all as a team want dynamic weather. But there is definitely things in front of that that need worked on and fleshed out first. I think we could all agree before we get dynamic weather, probably rather have stuff like rod holders trophy lodge so on and so forth right i think that's that i think we could agree on that one <laughs> but yeah you know what pop tart we all want dynamic weather it's very immersive you know plus there's a lot that would come with that you know there's like for instance fishing's way better in a rain you get all the little bugs on the top of the lake all the fish come up to feed Right, so there's there's that kind of touch that would need to be added. Um, you know, there's, there'd be a lot of ball. So it would be quite a big thing to work out. And I know that, that those things are, are strongly weighed and considered. You know, where do we best put our time? Like, you know, what are the big ass right now? Trolling motors, trophy lodge. Uh, oh my God, I, I'm not even gonna start because there's there's a lot of big asks uh, and, that we track and that we're following. So, you know, it's really about me. What, what what's going to be the best for everybody first. So, yeah, I think it's a matter of time before we see something like that. You think this has a possibility to change with the season, spring, summer, fall? Man, Tactical Farber, what's up, dude? Good to see you, man. Yeah, I, I think that, that it absolutely should. With Apex Connect, with everything I know of it, we absolutely could do stuff like that on the back end if the systems were in place. So, yeah, could be a good possibility. Squirrel hunting for Call of the Wild would be good, especially if you lose the out of map. Tuesday, my friend. Come Tuesday. I try to separate them so we don't cannibalize each game with the... You know what I mean? I try to keep them separate. With Tuesday. Ow! Tuesday is our, our hunts and Wednesday is our fish, but uh, that that that's something that a lot of people are asking for. It's not going to be. It's technically CD in alphabetical order as it should be, yes. This is an individual study for real toggle. Where if the fish wasn't on, if you had a float thing, I could flesh that out in uh, in the Discord. Let us know. Oh, we're pulling a Xander up. I mean, they're good looking fish. Don't get me wrong, they look great. But no, but we're after, man. Now we're after. If I had my minnows, they isolate, right? Those minnows, I they isolate. Tina and Iowa, I agree. They're, they're, that's the thing with North America. It's with the way it stretches, we just have every type of climate, every, every, um, every biome, and totally. There's definitely some spots. I, you know, I wouldn't be upset if our very next map was the UK. Just saying. I'm just saying. Liverpool, Albert Docks, that's where you are. <laughs> that's where I was not long ago. Um, but that big fish in the UK, I think it would actually be really nice to have. We're going to visit a lot of locations. It's a matter of time and in what order and how we choose them as well. I know that's something that there's a lot of time and effort that go into this. You know, they take into considerations of what the community's asking for uh, and, and what have they have been asking for, speaking with our, our fishing consultants and then, you know, real-time, real-world um, uh, research and um, and, and of course, sending that Jaxi guy on location to fish all of the spots we're considering. It's, I mean, it's an absolute must. And it's true because you heard it here live on stream. We have a document. So, I'm in a mood. But this should happen. This should really happen. Let this game, it would make it even better. What, did I, what was that for, brother? Uh, you know what, Fish Tanks, I, and I, I'm with you. I'm with you. I, it, it was um, surprisingly a, a really uh, hands-on task or feature. Uh, and, and there was so much that needed to be done and approved that 
Uh, you know, I think that's something that we could possibly see. I certainly hope so. Have the ability to move. Um, I would say that would have to come with rod holders, which, you know, Gaz has kind of said that it's taking time to cook that stuff up, which indicates that there's a very good possibility that I will neither confirm nor deny that one. But, uh, hello, let's go. Oh, man. We're hitting pretty good, though, still. It's, it's a bass. That's good. That's good. I wouldn't have been upset with the Xander. Just the silver. We could bump up, but I'm actually quite happy to keep getting it. As you can see, I, um, since the update got on, cranked out through three, four levels. Um, just really been enjoying myself and being able to fish again. Not a ton of time to do it, but uh, I get to partake again. Super happy about it. Love to see the fish swimming. Big improvement, right? Scottish lock fishing. Oh my god, wouldn't that be so cool, flat cap? I'm just saying, man. So every cast is just a guaranteed fish? No, not at all. Seems unrealistic. Is that sense? No. Uh, no. No, that, that's not the case. Um, we are using, we are in the correct spot, using the right gear. Sometimes you can sit here for a while, and sometimes they're just not biting. You know, uh, it, it's, yeah, you got to take into consideration if you're close to vegetation you have to take into consideration time of day um you know we have nocturnal fish we have fish that just refuse to bite at night um and then of course there's the other option of you know you're in a high a very well-known fishing locale in, in the globe where people travel to to fish is kind of your backstory so you know I, i'd love to hear if it's supposed to be stocked and whatnot but you know there's some areas that are teeming and then your population is your own so you can spook your fish there's challenges it's a lot more in depth than uh, what others have approached taken the approaches of um there's a lot of there's really a lot to it you could be using the wrong bait the wrong size hook i just happen to know a guy and when i'm out here i'm trying to show low-key tips and tricks on good practices that's why i like to show my setup and tell you what i'm doing Yes, sir. Got that token, baby. Now, those tokens, if you are new, uh, you earn these tokens for golds, for diamonds, for legendaries. And there's a catch to that because each legendary can only be caught once a week. Uh, and these are used in our souvenir shop, which is kind of, um, I mean, I don't want to say end game. There's definitely some end game equipment in there. But there's, there's cosmetics, all kinds of stuff that you earn in game through these activities. Getting these tokens for a gold, it makes it so impactful, man. You know, when you hit that gold, like, because there's different tactics. Maybe you're a guy that says, okay, I know I need to use a size three or is it a two for largemouth bass here uh, to, to target those diamonds. But then you're not going to hit those little fish. You're not going to get those silvers. You're not going to get those bronze even, those golds where you need tokens for. So some people say, okay, I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna focus the golds only. The card, the golds and diamonds, and they'll use a hook size appropriate to, that, appropriate to that. But now there's tactics to that too, right? There's tactics. Some people wanna fish through their population, hope that there's, because no one understands how the respawns work. Thankfully, no one understands how the respawns work. And so you're able to go out there and have no idea what you're going to hit. If you're even going to hit something. Um, and it's amazing how, uh, you know, spooking your fish makes such a big difference to it, too. Not biting on your server. Yeah. Puget Sound. Oh, I have a lot of time fishing in, uh, through Puget Sound. Brilliant Fog. Am I reading that right? Or was that FCG? For instance, I missed that soul rebel. My eyes are not focusing all the day. Okay. I can't seem to catch anything with the Tormentillion lure in you know, at least for four hours all different spots in Spain. Um, we do have a resource sub to help with that. It, there, there, it, it's sometimes hard to find the right location. And Spain is very specific, I find. You know? Um, like, if you go to Golden Ridge Reserve, there's so many spots that you can catch many different species. Whereas I find in Spain, it's a lot more... It, it's, it's more difficult, I will say. 
This week on Norway, targeting roof with a 10. Got a gold perch so you can't predict what bites small hooks. I'm with Yasmodoisa. Hey, but that's true. That's how I like to play. I like to use a smaller hook. I like to uh, keep my options open. There's plenty of fish in the sea. Oh, my wife doesn't watch this. That was wrong. Awesome advice for some of you guys playing dog and I, I like to try and put that stuff out there low-key I'm always showing you good spots to fish and that's why we focus on the king of the catch Well, what's king of the catch Jaxi? Oh, well chat glad you answered king of the cats or asked let me answer King of the cats is a weekly competition that uh, we put together with the community for the community um, And uh, we have a lot of fun with it. Okay, so every week. There's a different target we give you that information. The week opens up at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Work that out in your time zone because time zones are a thing. Uh, and it runs until that the, a minute before the fall or the, the next week. Uh, and it's wild, man. You pretty much, it's golds are better. You can submit into the channel. And if you win, there's like some big bragging rights, but you also get your name immortalized in the server in our Hall of Fame. You want to see some of the great catches, some of the, uh, you'll actually start to see a lot of similar names, names of repeat offenders, I mean winners. Um, yeah, definitely go check that out, man. It's a lot of fun. But I'll focus on that each week. I'll go, okay, this week we're on largemouth bass. And I'll go out and I'll go to a hot spot. Not necessarily where you're just going to catch lots, but um, where you can catch a diamond. Because there's a lot of things that need to line up with certain metals spotting into your game lots and not even just one of those will give you any form of indication or help so they've done a really good job of the rng it's learning the maps and learning locations and learning hook sizes um and i'm still struggling with that there goes the hunt to find out how respawns yeah you're not going to figure it out they were really smart about how they do their respawns that's why I was trying to push you guys away from wasting your time with the temps. It's cool, and yes, you'll always see a range of temps which they could be in, but they, the, the temps change so drastically, and it's just not a fleshed out system that'll, ever, that'll, that'll lead to anything right now, but not fleshed out. The idea is get these systems in place, and as time goes on, you'll probably see more added to it. So keep your eyes on that stuff. Resource Hub is amazing. The, the work that goes into that, that's in our Discord. If you guys haven't seen it, um, we basically said, all right, we told our mods, go at it. Pull together all the information because they're seeing all the questions the community are asking. Um, they're out there hitting the fish as well. And, and they, they're, you know, they're, so they pulled all the info into one place and it's pretty dang cool, man. Here, let me just show you. I get asked about this all the time, like huge props to our our community for doing this. And like some of you, man, I can't begin to tell you how much time folks like Wilson and Lenny and, okay, here we go. Let me actually get this. Let's bring up, go. Okay. Now it's a great sheet, except they ruined it with this guy. What the heck he's doing on there? Jeez. Although he's got a nice beard. Um, it's, they've just, man, it's fantastic. It's so well done. When you get into these sheets and there's one for each reserve, it's got everything down here. You've got your bait chart, which is going to show you, for instance, a largemouth bass prefers the popper, but will hit eggs, but will hit red worms, leeches, minnows. They spend a lot of time on this. As you can see, the hook chart's going to tell you what size hook. So. If you're on, for instance, um, the, the largemouth bass, you want a number three hook, you're only going to get diamonds on that. Technically, you can actually still get a gold on that. On that. But it's, it's very accurate. It's a great, these are great tools to go by. And if you want to get information on, uh, they even have it right here. These are spots, um, they were diamond locations contributed from the community themselves on where they caught them pinpointed uh that means you know like because you're not going to find a diamond large mouth bass up here it's it's a 
it's incredible. It really is. Uh, but the way they have it laid out as well. Um, well let me just uh, actually, I'll keep that there. I'm peeking that a little bit. They do a really good job. Um, if you haven't seen it in our Discord, oh, I can't click on that right now. It's just embarrassing because I've got too much to reply to. Hey, hey, stuff in the water. Let's go. <laughs> Uh, hey, nice straight talk. Pulled himself in a gold there. Yeah. Their temp chart? No, there isn't. Uh, people have tried to, to track it, but when apps actually do, you'll see that it just... It does nothing right now in the game for you. You can't track anything. Right? Um, I can't reveal stuff, so I can't say much more than that. But And don't waste your time on it, right? Your paper for the hub promo was not free. <laughs> Jesus moved to add the floating seedlings to the game. Many a time I think I'm going to get a bite. That might just a bit of floatsome and said. I bought that immersion, right? Nobody likes a bit of floatsome. Jetsum's the better option. Oh, I love you guys, man. <laughs> oh, you just bought the troll head. Yeah, I need to do the same myself, man. Yeah. Field topography maps for depths. We have that. Uh, maybe sonars. That would be cool. The hell of an addition. Some nice fishing. Yeah, Travis. We actually just added that. The topography. Um, I, I I assume you mean like a more detailed one. One specific for that lake bottom, probably. Is more what you're you're leaning towards. But uh, that was a huge, huge improvement when this came with Spain. Previously, we had no definition to, to you wouldn't you weren't able to tell that like you would have actually thought back then you'd have been like you know okay that that makes sense biggest lake probably the deepest but you wouldn't have thought maybe for, per se that this was so deep or this had too deep so you couldn't couldn't pinpoint that that actually helps because you know temps will get a little colder right so you'll know like some areas if it's a low temp fish where you should be looking you'll notice where we are here the way the splits are if you work out your temps so it kind of you know that's the temps are really just going to show you where you can possibly catch a diamond it's not going to tell you anything else currently that's by design that will get probably fleshed out what's up misty how you doing welcome i have been to the cave in spain it's one of the first places our devs took me um they, they, we did that live. They wanted my reaction. They wanted to see what I actually thought. No, Wilson! Oh, man. He left us. Wilson left us. All on our lonesome. Yeah, it's awesome in there. Best caves. Period. In a digital format for any game. Even games that are fully situated in caves. I thought they did a really good job. See, the pumpkin seed got a speed upgrade? No. No, no changes to anything. Not this last one. It's gonna be your favorite spot. It's so peaceful. Lots of species caught. Nice gold down there. Yes. Yeah. It's a beautiful spot. It is peaceful. It's so incredibly unique. Um, I, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't even realize that was a thing. That's what I love about our games. I actually learn a lot in our games. Uh, for, uh, things I won't get to do IRL, you know, different fish I never get to. Uh, names of fish I hadn't even heard make it into our game, and I'm going, ooh, when I go down rabbit holes, I like to know about these species, and I like to research them. I haven't got through all of them that have been in here, so I'm working on it. Oh, goodness. 10 out of 10. And like you said, so realistic. Yeah, big time. What up, Schrader? Good to see you, my man. Big round of applause, Mr. Schrader, one of our newest mods in the Hunter Discord. Thank you, my friend, for stepping up. Um, we're uh, we're still going through applicants, by the way, if you were one of the folks that applied. We're still making additions. Uh, it, it was a focus, really, to get a couple folks in there to uh, to help for coverage, and then uh, we'll continue to go through and add more. I'm a little distracted at the moment. We have a Facebook group that doesn't have much coverage. Uh, if you're on Facebook, right, and... and um, Oh, that's for the hunter, though. I guess I shouldn't promote that here. We don't have an angler uh, Facebook group. That's not us. That's not us. We have a page. Um, we went all in with our Discord. 
We wanted to bring as much of our community together in one space so we could communicate um, efficiently. And uh, you'll have to see our devs in there. If you're not in there, come and join us. Oh my God, are you kidding me? 10 o'clock already? <sighs> These streams are too short, man. Have a really, really good time out and about here with all of you folks every week, no matter what we're doing. Uh, even if we're not catching anything, it's just a lot of fun to get together and to get everybody's thoughts and see what everyone's, what everyone's up to. So, yeah, what's the thought behind introducing minnow fishing? EY, such tiny fish? What are we saying, Brew? What's the thought behind it? Um, it wasn't really a thought process of let's just do small fish. Uh, it was certain fish that are popular in that region that were missing. But, you know, we did see some responses um, of some folks that thought they should have all been big fish or, or you know, at least need some big fish in there. And, and you're absolutely right. We we see that moving forward. We'll make that consideration. Um, but there wasn't any intent of, of just, you know, we only want to add small or anything like that. It, it's just honestly kind of how it worked out. Um, fish that we were all excited for. So I, I hope you're enjoying them, as as I see most are. But um, I get it. Maybe you know, small, small just isn't everyone's thing. I'm very much like that in the hunter for me. Uh, not so much like that here in the angler because it's more the experience and getting to eat them, which I don't get to do. But uh, in the hunter, I don't care for small game, so I can I can fully understand that. Time flies when you're fishing. It does, man. Man, it's wild. What up, Vab? How you doing? Welcome, man. <laughs> okay i gotta get out of here my friends i got some things i gotta sort here today uh it's busy times on the community front it's exciting times we've got st stuff and things with expansive worlds planned that are all in all of our games they're just not that far off anymore and we got lots to do if you want to get involved first off make sure you hit the follow hit the subscribe do it with two hands if you gotta come and join us on all of our socials but Come and join us in Discord if you haven't already. Maybe you're not a Discord user. What better time to get them? Uh, you can use it on your phone. You can use it on your consoles. You can use it everywhere. It's just a great way to, to stay in touch, to have those real-time conversations, to get all of your feedback. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. I, I hope that you find some enjoyment, whether you have a Valentine or not. If you don't, come and join us in the Discord. I don't celebrate Valentine's anymore, so you can be my Valentine. Much love from all the EW folks. Enjoy yourself, my friends. Fish on, yes, sir. We really need some music for this part of the show. You know. Music. 